This is why it's very significant for us as the Beit Israel as the once lost but now found sheep of the house of Israel. You understand that's with Ethiopian Hebrews and the Americas and the Caribbean is that because what happened to us happened and the whole world turned a blind eye. See, a lot of white folks were free before they tried to be like the niggers, like the Negroes. You see, after emancipation, the federal government, along with many of the slave masters and business interests, said, what we're going to do with these slaves, or these so-called black folks or whatever, like, what are we going to do with them? Are we going to send them back to Liberia? Are we going to send them to Africa? What are we going to do with these, all these niggers, these Negroes, these blackies, or whatever they wanted to call us? You understand what they're going to do with us? So the first thing they had to do is register us. See, the first thing they had to do was register, and this is where the birth certificate, you understand the whole idea of a birth certificate, when you see and study the connection with maritime admiralty law, for example, back in the days and even today, if a product from America goes to China, when it reaches China, China gives that product a birth certificate. And everything that's on that product's birth certificate is the very same thing that is on your birth certificate and our birth certificate, which they call it a certificate of live birth. You understand? Know this, if you look at a lot of these birth certificates, they would tell you that it's a part of the Department of Commerce. Ask yourself this: How is a birth certificate that is registered with most most uh, health um, bureaus and health departments in most states becomes a property? instead of the Department of Commerce because America is bankrupt. It's been bankrupt three years after the crowning of the King of Kings, Kedemawi Haile Selassie, in 1933. It no longer had its own money, its own wealth. Therefore, it has used its citizens. You understand? It's, it already used the black citizens from the former war they had. You understand? And that's where the whole birth certificate thing first, the first scam happened to black folks who had to register. They had to get documentation. They had to get a birth certificate. You know what I'm saying? So the first use of this, this business kind of transaction was done to black folks, to the lost sheep. But what happened is that white folks saw these niggas getting these documents from the federal government, and white people thought, oh man, we're losing out. We, we need to get some of that too. And so when they did it, then the, the geniuses, you understand, behind the whole government and behind the so-called rulers, in other words, Satan and his minions, they said, oh, this is great. You understand, this is great. We, we'll, we'll get them all. Because just remember that when the lost sheep fell, the whole world fell. When the lost sheep rise, the whole world, in that sense, will rise too. You understand? So the first thing you have to state is that you are not, you understand, an artificial person, but more positively, I am. First you state, I am a natural person, and thus not such and such and such, as well as we don't have a first or last name. So when we put our name forward, there's a couple of ways legally that basically divorce you, begin the initial steps of the divorce coming out of Babylon that you should utilize you understand? When placing your name, writing your name, signing your name, so forth and so on. See, now, now many people out there, many lawyers and people went to law school, they don't, understand, they don't even rec recognize that we're under maritime admiralty law. But many of those who really do know their business, they, they understand, you understand, what, what, what capitus, uh, the, min, uh, the, the, the miniature maxima, really means. They understand why one's names are all in caps. That basically means that they are a artificial person. They are a corporation. You understand? And the federal government, government now uses this as collateral, you understand, with the donors. Those who donate, not even just donors, really with those who they borrow money from. You understand? To keep their so-called shit stem, excuse me, system afloat. But really, when you look at the word system, it comes from an old Roman word that really originally meant shit stem. You understand? Because the shit stem was actually the, the, the system of waterways and sewers that were under Rome. And this is where the idea of the system actually comes from. You understand? But the next thing you have to state after you state that you don't have a first or last name, and this is very important, is that you have to bring the court to notice. In other words, the court takes judicial notice. You understand? The court takes judicial notice 
of your honor's oath of office. That has to be declared. May the court take judicial notice of your honor's oath of office. Now why is this important? It's important because every judge takes an oath of office to practice law. The judge is acting as judge and not as banker. This has to be declared on the record that the judge is acting as judge because when you have the judge take judicial notice of your honors and what is the court you're saying the court takes judicial notice of your honors oath of office every judge takes an oath of office to practice law the judge hereby or therefore is acting as judge and not as banker because you don't know you don't even understand this that most courts judges are acting as banker not really as judge as banker you see if you were a member of the law society you would understand because it's so important to turn the case from maritime admiralty law. It's so important for one to reclaim their inalienable, their sovereign, you understand, their sovereign right and responsibility. But anyway, let's, um, let's move on.